Hello? Hello. My name is Thomas Pate, and I'm a senior from Westside High School. The name of the poem I will be performing is The Path of Willing Lanterns. The will to live through another day, not as intended but as implied, kills the soul of life itself. The things of nature, of secret, are done under a blanket of darkness, as if to conceal the guilt of natural temptation. We revere those who have wandered the farthest from the natural path. Humans have watched the credits of life roll on a background of earth, as if they were to say, I have been there, beyond the confines of time, of gravity, of nature. In space, there are no sunsets. There isn't the sound of the nightly grasshoppers chirping on Mars, nor the sound of morning doves on Venus. There is no concept of society on Neptune, no icy winter on Mercury. Our collective conscience is nothing but a breath of the great devourer. Under only our sun does the benevolent God rule his power but a fetid blown in the infinite confines of time. What of the universe, when nothing is left to rule, when no life remains? What of the human face with no mirrors left to lie? What of a kiss without flesh to share? Dost nothing compare to the nightly fair? Whence did the maiden in violet silhouette steal the voice of the amateur to the extent of the concept of now? Where the dew of mountain groves is carried into the pith of cold steel and the craning of the willow's fingers dips into the sea foam. Oh, the secrets those roots must bear, the truths its fruits must bear. Us humans wish to hide ourselves behind a curtain half drawn in an attempt to shield us from the immensity of every. We implant our seeds of idea in the plaster of comfort, whatever form it might take. De Savolti to the common living man, every silent soul appeareth a firefly's lantern on the love story's backdrop. We hold hands down memory lane, lantern light dim but showing the creases in the brick. Our feet barefoot, but feel the roughness of the sidewalk. Two heads, separate but longing to plant the seeds of truth. We walked together until the fork in the parkway where we stopped and, under the cover of darkness, kissed away the implications of the world. The path I took has no sunsets, no grasshoppers chirping, no morning dove speaketh hither, no concept of society, nor icy winter. No, none of that. No, none of that. No, none of that. But. The faint whispers of a cat can be heard. The taste of cookie dough always fresh in the air. Cold rain felt by naked lodges. The warmth of an old memory in winter. And at the end of every bend, a lantern of fireflies opens with the touch of a rusty old key bearing the secrets behind the half-drawn curtain.